All right, a brief video introduction to the club fungi. First question, what is the scientific name for the club fungi? The club fungi are called the basidiomycetes. Now that's, that's not super scientific at the ending. This is kind of a semi-scientific name for them. But let's just say they're called the basidiomycetes. The basidiomycetes. Nice long name, but we can break it down. Anytime we see MYC, whether it's in a um, medicine like mycotin, which deals with a fungal infection, or the name of a fungus, or any place, anytime you see MYC, you think fungi. In fact, as I had a young man come to my office a number of years ago, and I was visiting with him, and I, I asked him what he was planning to be. And he had a little smile on his face like, Professor won't even know what I'm talking about. And if the young man said, uh, I am planning to be a mycologist. A mycologist. M-Y-C, mycologist. And so I said, oh, well, you want to be a fungologist, huh? A, a fungal expert. He was a little disappointed that I knew what he was talking about. But anyway, uh, mycologist, anytime you see M-Y-C, you think fungi. Well, what does basidio mean? Well, it's from a Latin word, basidium, meaning club. Oh, okay. Basidio, my seat, means club fungi. What kind of club? Mickey Mouse Club, Rotary Club, Kiwanis Club? No, Caveman Club. There's some part of the life cycle that reminded somebody of a club, and so uh, that person named these the club fungi, the basidiomycetes, or the club fungi. Now, uh, what type of reproductive structure is produced by the club fungi? Well, these are the, uh, this is the category of fungi that makes mushrooms. Mushrooms. And so we're all familiar with mushrooms. Uh, there's other forms, not just mushrooms, that are produced by the basidiomycetes. <coughs> but mushrooms are basidiomycetes. Uh, the typical looking mushroom like this. There's some others that sort of look like them. I'll show you a picture here in the next video. Um, that are basidiomycetes. Uh, so uh, these mushroom looking things though with a kind of a curved top and so forth are basidiomycetes. And so uh, let's, uh, let's label, let's label the parts. And so the top is called the cap, we'll say. Uh, we'll call this the stalk. There's fancier names for them, but Anyway, underneath, underneath the uh, the cap, underneath the cap, if you uh, kind of open it up, we'll see a picture in a minute. There's uh, all these little uh, kind of vertical uh, little partitions or walls or little uh, uh, vertical elements, and those are called gills. Those are called gills. Not all mushrooms have gills; others some have uh, pores. But uh, we're just going to talk about mushrooms that have gills. We'll look at a picture of that in a minute. And finally, when you see a mushroom above ground, what fungal structures are below ground? Well, I've kind of filled that space up, so let me come over here. When you see a mushroom above ground, let's make this the ground, what's below ground? What's below ground? What's below ground is a branching mycelium. Branching mycelium. And what is the mycelium doing below ground? It is doing the fungal thing. What is that? It's decomposing dead stuff under there. Dead plant material, dead little animals, the bugs or whatnot under there. It's de decomposing those things. And so when you see a mushroom above ground, there is a mycelium below ground. And what is a mushroom? What's its functional life? Its function is reproduction. And so we're going to learn about uh, how the life cycle of the club fungi and how mushrooms actually are involved in reproduction. Alright, that is our introduction to the club fungi.